Hi YouTube family, Imade here and today we will be continuing our summary of the book 12 Rules for Life by Dr. Jordan Peterson. In this video, I'll be sharing a summary of rules 5 to 8 and if you are yet to catch up on rules 1 to 4, I have a link below. Let's jump right in. Rule 5. Do not let your children do anything that will make you dislike them. Most parents today are intimidated by the thought of disciplining their children. Studies show that people are indeed born with aggressive instincts and must learn how to become more civil in society. It might surprise you that toddlers, statistically speaking, are the most aggressive of people in society. And the only fortunate thing at this age is that they are uncoordinated to cause much harm to others. <laughs> Talk about being innocent, huh? Making sure your children are civil enough for society starts with the parents. Remember, children are inborn with social skills and it is the job of the parents or guardian to teach them how to integrate and be productive, well-adjusted members of society. Good socialization prevents much harm and helps children thrive. One way of doing this is by disciplining. The author argues parents need to be more than friends to their kids and sometimes you have to be the bad guy to discipline children. But you also have to be careful when doing this and not be unreasonable to take the role of the tyrant in the life of your kids. Remember, every child is different. While a verbal command is enough to stop an unacceptable behavior in one child, others might need a flick of the index finger of a small hand. Another great way is parenting in pairs. Peterson outlines the advantages of having both parents in a household. There's a lot a child can uniquely learn from both parents. Plus, having a supportive partner serves some relief to the stress that comes with parenting. However, he doesn't discredit the role of a single parent. Many of them frequently face impossible challenges and courageously raise their children. As a parent, it is important to remember the responsibility of disciplining your children is in your hands. If you do not take up this responsibility, Peterson argues you are leaving the dirty work to someone else who will be much dirtier doing it. Therefore, it should be your duty to raise kind and responsible children. Rule 6. Set your house in perfect order before criticizing the world. This is one of my favorite rules. Most people are quick to judge everything else but themselves. But before you complain about what the world owes you, have you thought to look at how you handle your personal responsibilities, be it in relationships with your loved ones, productivity at work, and civil duties in society? The author argues that it is easy to hold resentments against society. You can blame capitalism or the radical left, but that has little or no effect in getting your life in order. In fact, blaming society can lead to more harm than good. We've seen it in mass shooting in public places such as schools, movie theater, the mall, or even leading to genocide as seen with the Nazis where their solutions to the critics of the Jews was to annihilate them. Solutions to your problem is not hurting society, it is fixing your life first. Kind of like a wise saying from the Bible, remove the log from your eye and then you can see clearly to remove a speck from your neighbor's eyes. Before you choose to take on the world, take care of what you already have in your life. Take care of your family, your career, and your other life's opportunities that you have been given. 
Stay clear of sweeping things under the rug and delineating yourself that everything is fine. Take the responsibility of getting your life in order. Here's how the author puts it. If you want to live a full life, one must first set one's own house in order. And only then can one sensibly aim to take on bigger responsibilities. Rule 7. Pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. This rule advises to stay clear from things that bring immediate gratification and instead set out for meaningful goals for your life. Yes, life is complex and comes with its many trying moments. And it is easy for us to see the world as a pit of despair and justify a life based on immediate pleasure that will make life more bearable. But living for pleasure of today does nothing to fix the despair. Successful people delay gratification. They think about the future and have learned the art of sacrificing immediate pleasure for tomorrow's gain. An example shared by the author was the story of Christ being tempted in the wilderness. Christ responded to the first temptation by saying, one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. A meaning to this is that we can survive without immediate gratification. There are deeper things necessary for us to successfully thrive in the world. Peterson argues that true meaning is defined by the things we do for others. It is not about pursuing selfish, instant pleasure but more about becoming kinder, happier, and more well-adjusted people in the world. Rule 8. Tell the truth, or at least don't lie. Unfortunately, lying has become an intricate part of many societies with effects like corruption and injustice. Time and time again, people lie to others and themselves. Lies are a common tool for self-deception. For example, some lie to hide their weakness, some lie to impress. It doesn't matter the reason. To gain trust and confidence, we need to be honest, especially to ourselves. Frederick Nietzsche argued that you can measure the strength of a person's spirit by the amount of undiluted truth they can tolerate. Lying to ourselves or to others is often motivated by the desire to obtain what we wish for. For example, you might lie to yourself that your retirement entails relaxing on a scheduled beach, drinking pina colada in the Bahamas on demand. While in reality, your actions today or in the near future is doing nothing to make that a possibility. Even when events pile up, that make it increasingly impossible you continue to believe that this kind of goal is achievable without a concrete plan well truth is you are lying and deluding yourself the more you tell the truth to others and yourself the more your life will point in the direction of good and the better character you build as an individual in society according to the author Truth is the ultimate, inexhaustible, natural resource. It's the light in the darkness. See the truth, tell the truth. So that's it for rule 5 to 8. If you are yet to catch up on rule 1 to 4, please see the link to the summary video below and also in the top right corner. Let me know in the comments below which rule or rules are your favorite. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more. Next week, I'll be sharing summaries of row 9 to 12. Until next time, be well my friends. And remember, keep your mental up. Bye for now.